I'm so sorry I'm late. What, what happened? Where is everybody? Eric? What's wrong? Sweetheart, what is mm. it? What's the matter? Phoebe. Phoebe? Uh, there's been a terrible car accident, and uh, Phoebe was killed. No. No. Let's no. No, no, no. There's a mistake. There's a no, mistake. No, no. He died in Ridge's arms. Was Rich driving? No, no. Rick. Rick was driving. Rick. Ridge is on his way to tell Taylor. Thomas and Steffi are upstairs, so I'm going to go up and check on them. Okay. I don't want to leave you alone. No, no, I'm all right. You go. It's okay. You go. Been more sensitive. <laughs> well, nobody's ever going to hurt her again, are they? I don't understand. I, I don't understand why you're alive, why she's dead. I, I, can you explain this to me? Can you help me to understand? I don't understand. My granddaughter is dead, and I, I... I don't understand why. We're all trying to make sense of it. Yes, but you were there. You were driving. Was anybody else hurt? Rick was. I'm fine, Mom. Thank no, you. No, I, I was... What, what about the other driver? There was no other driver. You lost control of the car? If you could put it that way, yeah. Well, how would you put it? Yes, Stephanie, I lost control of the car. Stephanie, okay. is that all that you can give me? Put yourself in his position. He's in shock. Well, put yourself in my position. My granddaughter is dead. She's dead, and I just saw her today. She was alive, full of joy, full of life. She was so happy to be home, and now she's dead. And I have to understand why. Why? What was she doing in your car? He was driving Phoebe here to the rehearsal tent. Well, I think she'd ride with anyone but you. I wish she had ridden with somebody else. She just jumped in my car as I was leaving. Well, why would she do that? She wouldn't. Well, I, I don't know. She needed a ride, okay? She had some things that she wanted to say to me. To you? Or, or, or about you? Both. About her father and you? About her she mother and you? What, what do you want me to say to you? She was pissed at me, all right? I want to know why she's Stop dead it, and you're Stephanie. alive. That's enough. You're not going to get anywhere by giving him the third degree. There will be a time and a place for these questions. We ought to be praying for Phoebe and for her family. Where's Rick? He's staying away. I, I think that's best, considering how he's feeling. How does he feel? Guilty? Well, he was driving the car. Yes, driving erratically. I was just at the crash site. You should see the skid marks all over the road. I know. He lost control. Yes, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. That's why she was thrown out of the car and into the ditch. What does that tell you? <sighs> that tells me this was a horrible, horrible accident. No, it tells me that she's dead because of his irresponsible and reckless behavior. It tells me that it was no accident. You're blaming I'm, Rick? I'm looking at the facts, just the way the police are. Oh, my God. You're going after Rick. You're using this family tragedy to go after my son. You want him thrown in jail? I want this... 
I want Phoebe not to be dead. I want this never to have happened. But it has because of him. You stay away from my son. She's dead because of him. He killed her, and he's going to pay for what he's done. He wanted to get back at Ridge. He wanted to get back at Taylor. No! No? What do you mean? He was driving erratically. He was swerving and skidding all over the road. Was he trying to hurt Phoebe deliberately? Of course not. No? I think that he was trying to get back at Ridge. He wanted to hurt him. He took his job, he took his office, and now he's taken his daughter. Why? Stop She's it. She's dead, and her parents are going through hell. And I'm not going to stop it, because I think she's dead because of him. And he's going to pay for what he's done. But Stephanie, he is not guilty. He's not guilty? He's not responsible? Well, then who the hell is? Well, let me explain. You don't know what happened. Rick told me everything. He lost control of the car because Phoebe went into a rage. She was all over him. She was scratching his face, and she grabbed the wheel, and she slammed her foot under the brake, and then slipped on the accelerator. My God, Rick was trying to do everything he could to keep that car under control. She was attacking him. You're going to say that this was Phoebe's fault? No. No. This was nobody's fault. This was just one big tragic accident. Why can't you see that? Whether he was intentionally going to hurt that girl or whether just by his behavior he set this whole tragedy into motion, it all comes back to him. Do you understand? And if he's going to try to blame a dead girl for this, then he's more of a bastard than I even thought he was capable of being. Dare you imply, how dare you even say or suggest or think that this could have been Phoebe's fault? Stephanie, God. I know. I know what you're going through. We're all in pain. The whole family. We lost an angel tonight. Pointing a finger at Rick. Trying to blame somebody else. That's not going to bring Phoebe back. I'm not looking just for blame. I want the truth. Don't you understand? I'm not going to close my eyes to Rick and what he's done. They're going to arrest him. And if justice is served, he's going to go away a long, long time because that beautiful little girl is dead because of him. Stop it. Stop saying that. You are not going to turn this tragedy into another assault on my family. Do you hear me? Phoebe's life was worth more than that. And Rick's life is worth more than that. So you stay away from my son. You are not going to do this to Rick. My son will not be your scapegoat. Oh, now you want to protect him. Where were you when you could have done some good? You were so busy taking my family apart, you never saw the damage that you were doing to your own children. Who was there to teach him morality and ethics and personal responsibility? He sure as hell didn't learn that from you. Oh, so now you're blaming this on me. Well, what I think is he wanted to get back at Ridge so badly, he was willing to do anything. That's what I think. He was willing to sacrifice his relationship with you, his pride, his self-respect. Who the hell does that sound like? You. It sounds exactly like you. Brooke, he was so desperate all of his life for your attention. You don't want to see what he's become, do you? He's become you. Shut up. No, he has. He's become you. He wanted what he wanted when he wanted it. And now he's destroyed a family, and that girl is dead. And you know what? You're right. He isn't to blame. He isn't responsible. You are. You are. What you did to that boy. You made him into the man that he is today. You're to blame. You killed my girl.